the act party and an explain that national is pandering to Māori residents. And are you able to work with Dr. Branch? Well, I mean, we would reject um, those claims. Uh, I think what we have done is put race relations on a good footing in New Zealand. I think we try to work constructively. Uh, I think we acknowledge that there's work to be done. Uh, but I think most New Zealanders have supported the, you know, the positive step that we have taken. Uh, there'll always be those who are frustrated with the process. We accept that. Um, and uh, there'll always be those that ask about the relevancy of the treaty, you know, 170 odd years since it was signed. But I mean, the government has its responsibilities. They're well set out by the law in New Zealand, and I think we're following that through. In terms of, can we work with Don Brash, the answer is yes, it's nothing really new in any of the comments he's making. Do you think people listen to um, this message? No. I mean, look, frankly, the, the ads in the papers are not factually correct. Um, in my view, uh, they don't represent what's actually happening. And New Zealanders have a chance to sort of see what we're doing. Uh, I think that we've been working very constructively. We're dealing with the treaty settlement process as quickly and speedily as we can. We accept that we want to see that completed. Um, there, we also know that there are plenty of areas where there's been significant Māori underachievement and need to do better. Uh, but I don't think any of that's particularly favouring Māori. I think it's in New Zealand's interest to have less uh, Māori on the benefit of less Māori in prison and continue to work on those programs. So you think he's wasting his money on the rest of it? No, it's his money. Less some fund his money so they're free to do whatever they like. But at the end of the day, everyone knows there's an election coming up so they can probably guess why the ads are there. Thank you. 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 Well, we all, we all have had discussions with our partners, but I don't think there's anything that's new there in the way that they propose it. They made all the same claims about the coastal area in Marineville. If you go and have a look at, I think it was number one in the ad when I briefly sort of looked at it on Saturday, something about, you know, that is going to give much greater rights uh, and easier access to customary title effectively in coastal area in Marineville. Well, that's factually incorrect. The bill actually codifies uh, the list of tests that need to be met. Met Pony Hara, we left the Maori party because he thought it was so hard for Maori to achieve those tests. So they both can't be right. How difficult will it be to manage a government with both the Maori party and the ACT party in it? Well, I don't think it's as difficult as some may think. And that's the reason for that is the way I see these sort of coalition arrangements working, or confidence and supply agreements working, is that the Maori party has a relationship with National and the ACT Party has a relationship with National, and actually at the moment United Future has a relationship with National. That doesn't mean that they have a relationship with each other. I mean, frankly, yep, there are always going to be differences, and sometimes quite significant differences, when you have parties from the left and right forming a deal with a party that's in the centre like National. It's not any easier for Labour. I mean, you can't tell me that New Zealand First and the Greens are a happy marriage together. Speaking of New Zealand First, um, Not really, you've, ruled, you've ruled out a relationship with New Zealand First, who you yeah. disagree with for various reasons. Yeah. Um, is there some reason why you would you would have a different view about ACT when you clearly disagree with them completely about using racial racial politics? No, I mean, there's a wide variety of reasons why we ruled um, New Zealand First out, and none of those have changed and made that position clear. New Zealand voters know where we stand and they get a chance to make the decisions of how they want to see the makeup of government when they go to the polls on November 26th. Would you revisit the forthcoming debate legislation if ACT made a condition of any coalition agreement? Well, look, I mean, I, I won't get into bottom lines, um, and I don't think actually it to the ACT party they do either, or other political parties. I think there's a maturity that's being demonstrated by most, most political parties these days, um, but I don't think it's in the country's interest to go and revisit that. As far as I'm concerned, I think we've now got a fierce um, situation that was in, in place when the foreshore and CBD legislation was there. I mean, in my mind, a major change that came from uh, the, the removal of the foreshore and CBD legislation and the replacement of the coastal area and marine bill was that Maori had their right, their chance to test their rights in court, but they can't reach an agreement with the government. <coughs> and actually, as I said, the tests are set out in the legislation. Outside that, it's very similar to the foreshore and CBD legislation. Do you have a view on whether this has any impact on whether you'll come to an accommodation around the Epson? By election? Uh, no, we'll have those discussions in due course with um, the ACT Party when we're in the process of selecting our candidate at the moment. I think that happens in the next week or so. If, 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 if the National Party were to benefit from the politics of racial polarisation, would that concern you at all? Well, look, you know, if the New Zealand public will choose to vote on whatever basis that they see fit. Um, I'm, as a political leader, intend to take our message to the country uh, on November 26th. 
Um, I believe the three years that we've been in office has demonstrated the kind of government we are, the sort of leadership we bring to issues, the sort of values and principles that underpin our party, and the future aspirations we have for New Zealand. And in the end, I'll leave the voters to decide what sort of government they want. There's been a lot of um, comments about Labour's um, proposals before they've even been announced, but there's a lot of um, mainstream economic commentary um, which supports a capital gains tax. Do you, do you accept that there's a legitimate economic argument um, why a capital gains tax should be introduced in Well, I think the first question you've got to go back to and ask is, does New Zealand need another tax? And the answer to that is no.